The question that we're going to answer in this recording is how far is a light week in kilometers? So remember, even though a week is a measure of time, a light week is a measure of distance. And so it makes sense to put it into kilometers because that's also a measure of distance. Now there's a few ways to do this, which is great because we can use one way to get an answer and another way to check our answer. So the way I'd like to start out solving this is to use the definition of speed. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. And so the speed we're talking about is the speed of light. The time is one week. And then the distance is one light week because a light week is the distance that light can travel in one week. So if we're trying to solve for distance, then we want to try to get distance by itself on one side of the equation. So I'm going to start by multiplying both sides of this by time. By time, multiply this side by time. I'm just going to use a T. These times are going to cancel out. I'm going to have time times speed, I'll just use an S, is equal to distance. Great. So, we're trying to solve for distance, which means we need to know what to put in for time and for the speed. Now the speed is the speed of light, which we actually usually write as just the letter lowercase c. You can look this up in the back of your book. It's about 3.0 times 10 to the 5 kilometers per second. Which is pretty fast when you think about it. In one second, light travels 300,000 kilometers. That's pretty good. All right, so we know what to put in for the speed. What do we put in for the time? Well, how far does light go in one week? So we're going to put in one week. All right, we've set up the equation. We know what to put in. We need to stop for a moment, though, and check our units. Because the units of time over here, we have weeks. Up here, we have seconds. Those are not going to cancel. So I'm going to convert weeks into seconds. So how many seconds are in one week? Well, I'm going to do this step by step. There are seven days in a week and then I know that there are 24 hours in a day and 60 minutes in an hour and finally 60 seconds in a minute. Let's double check here. Week should cancel with week. Days are going to cancel. Hours are going to cancel. Minutes are going to cancel. And we'll be left with seconds. Fantastic. So you can do this step by step if you want or try putting it all into your calculator at once. I'll give you a moment to try that. You might want to pause the recording and then when you're ready to check your answer, hit play. All right, so the number of seconds in a week, what we're going to put in for time, I get 6.05 times 10 to the 5 seconds. Okay, so what we need to do now is rewrite our equation with numbers instead of symbols. 6.05 times 10 to the 5 seconds, that's the time, times 3.0 times 10 to the 5 kilometers per second, that's the speed. And multiplying those two together will give us our answer. 
Again, you might want to pause it here, try this yourself, and then when you're ready to check your answer, hit play. All right, my answer is 1.81 times 10 to the 11 kilometers. All right, well, that's kind of a big number. Um, how can we check and see if it's right? Well, the way I'd like to check is to try to solve this a different way. I'm going to draw a line here, and we're going to solve the same question. How far is a light week in kilometers? Well, another way to do it is to look up the distance of a light year in kilometers. So one light year, which you can abbreviate LY, is equal to 9.46 times 10 to the 12 kilometers. And you can look this up in the back of your textbook. And what this means is this is how far light goes in one year. So I'm going to just write myself a note that this is 9.46 times 10 to the 12 kilometers per year. All right, we wanted to know how far it goes in a week. So what we can do is basically convert the units here. We can multiply this by one year is about 52 weeks. This is an approximation, so we might not get exactly the right answer, but we'll get something that we can use to check our more precise answer that we got before. So basically, I'm multiplying the distance of a light year by 1 divided by 52, which is the same as the distance of the light year divided by 52. And if I do this, I get 1.82 times 10 to the 11 kilometers. And I can make it clear that this is an estimate by putting a little squiggly line here. Well, it looks to me like we calculated it right the first time because we got pretty close to the same number. So anytime you can do that, it's great. It's nice to have some confidence in your answer.